I'ma share my world, baby. Whoa, I'm so in love. Said I'm so in love. I'm addicted to your love, baby. Yo, today is December 26th, a day after Christmas, 2021. A few more days until New Year. It's been a new year for me since September, you feel me? <laughs> Dig? That's how we operate. We don't wait for the New Year to come. We already be on that new shit already. Almost in the middle of the year. It's based on a six-month basis, you feel me? Evaluate yourself every six months. It's like taking a STD test when you're sexually active. You're supposed to take it twice a year, every six months. So that's how we evaluate our new year. We do it every six months. You feel me? Just, you know what I mean? Just some city shit I'm telling you, I'm talking right now. This shit be different out there. Anyway, you know what I mean? My surroundings. You know what I mean? I love it when I'm walking on the sidewalk. I like to see videos when a person's walking on the sidewalk and they're talking, and there's nobody else walking but him just talking on the sidewalk. That tells you he's in a town where a lot of people drive, and usually people don't use the sidewalk, you feel me? So I just tell you where the nigga is at, and what kind of environment he's at, you dig? You, know, you don't want to be in an environment where niggas going to ask you, yo, what you doing out here? Why you walking on my sidewalk? <laughs> that shit don't go hit that. That's not going to get you in too many places. All right, let's just take. Hold on. I got to take I got to take the commercials sometimes they just not go for you you feel me but anyway hold on yeah man still on top of the world I ain't been working now, just, you know, regular, just running all day sometimes. We doing two jogs. I do two, one jog in the morning and one in the night. Twice a day for six weeks. And that helps out a lot, man. It do. You just gotta do it the right way. You can't halfway step it. You gotta have composure, stamina, and everything else like that. Just, you know, I, I, sometimes I watch myself in the mirror just trying to see how I look. Cause sometimes I know I look ridiculous when I be straining myself, dragging myself to do it. But somebody gotta do it. Ain't no excuses. You feel me? It's hard, but I gotta do it, man. If I don't do it, who else is gonna do it for me? I wish it was that, it was that easy. I wish I was one of these niggas who I could just hate my way. I feel better about it, but I can't, feel me? For some strange reason, it just won't let me, you feel me? It just, it just won't let me be. It just won't let me be a failure. It just won't let me quit. Just like niggas be telling, you try, you try, you always trying, huh? I'm like, it won't let me not try. You feel me? Well, what else can I do? I can't do nothing but try. For real. How you doing? Good morning. <laughs> Word up, but it just won't let me, man. Sometimes I just can't do it. Yeah, it just won't let me. I try. I try to be a failure, but it won't let me. It always, it always, it always push me forward. Even yesterday, when I tried so hard, I was just disappointed in myself that I didn't try harder. Thinking of ways and like, damn, I could have did this. I could have did that. And I, I can't never t blame something on somebody else. I got to blame it on myself, you feel me? Even if the, all the evidence points to somebody else, 
I still gotta blame it on myself. But anyway, today's the 26th. I didn't get to make it to work yesterday. Merry Christmas to everybody else that, you know what I mean, was home spending time with their family and everything else like that. It was good, you know what I mean? Let's not exaggerate the notion of you spending time with your family. You feel me? It's kind of funny how we do that sometimes. That could be a topic right now, actually. It's funny how we, um, we always say family is important and spending time with your kids is important and everything else like that. That's because we live in a society where we have to preach these things. It's like me comparing, is I'm comparing me being a father as it being a good thing. I'm supposed to do that. You feel me? It's like brushing your teeth. You're supposed to do these things. But taking a shower, you're supposed to, if you are a homeless person where you cannot do these things, then that means that I'm comparing myself to somebody who's less fortunate that who can who cannot do those things. So me bragging about having a family and spending time with my family, who are you really comparing yourself to? You see, people compare themselves. You can only compare yourself to somebody who's less fortunate as you. When you start comparing yourself to somebody else, then that means that the person that you're gonna compare yourself to gotta be less fortunate as you. You see, people who are doing what they're supposed to do don't have time to compare themselves to other people because they're doing it, you feel me? They're supposed to do it. It's natural to them. It's like, why brag about it? You feel me? People be like, cap this and cap that. You capping this. I'm like, people who are doing it don't even talk like that. Cap is not even in the vocabulary. You can't cap electric bills. You can't cap rent. You can't cap cap insurance. You can't cap life insurance. You can't cap these things. These things are uncappable. You feel me? I see niggas driving around. I know they got car insurance. They got somebody's paying for that car, or pay for that car. They still gotta pay insurance. They gotta pay maintenances. You can't cap these things. You feel me? You can't cap where you stay at. You can't cap how fly you look. You can't cap these things. If you're doing these naturally, there's no way I can use the word cap in my vocabulary. The niggas wanna use cap. This. I'm like, you saying cap because you living up your mother. You probably sleeping on somebody else's bed. Somebody paying for your rent. So you think this shit is cap? Because money probably come to you easily, so you're not working for it. Somebody else is doing the job for you. Why are you making all the? You feel me? There's no way we can you can cap these things. But unfortunately, people always talk about cap this and cap that and Captain Crunch and all that cap cap shit. And I'm like, yo, that's not even my vocabulary. I don't even think like that. It, I don't even sound like no man. Like you can't cap these things. You feel me? Like that, that's why it's like I don't even brag about me taking care of my son or giving money to you would never hear me speaking like that because it's natural for me to do such things it's like it's natural you feel me then who am i comparing myself to somebody who's not doing it i'm degrading myself doing such a thing you feel me we don't do that people who are the less fortunate and who cannot do these things are the ones that brag about these things and compare themselves to others so if you catch yourself doing that shit, you need to check yourself you feel me it ain't about if you a, a, a family man, it is not about that. You supposed to have, you supposed to want people to have the same family as you or better. You feel me? Like you supposed to have, you supposed to want to spend time with your kids. What is girl at, man? You supposed to have family. You supposed to have a good family structure. That should be normal. But we live in a society where we don't have these things, so it's like you know we feel good about comparing ourselves to other people who are less fortunate and feel better about our situation. And that's the only way you can feel good about your situation because if everybody had it, it wouldn't be nothing worth comparing to. It would be something that you'd be happy to have. Like, oh, I have my brother. Oh, I have my sister. I'm glad I have my son. It's not like, oh, family is very important and familia and this, that, and third and that, that, that. No, man, none of that shit matters. You feel me? Because it's natural already it's supposed to happen you have a job you're supposed to have a job if you want to have a job you feel me you have you own your own small business you're supposed to do these things you feel me maybe you're supposed to have both but if you have something and you're doing it it should be natural already you should have overcame the excitement of it you feel me let it pass because if you have a car and it's a new car right you excited to have that new car in the beginning, but if you have the same car for five years now, the excitement should have worn off already. And that's the same thing what I'm speaking about. 
that shit should have worn off already. It's like, yeah, I'm supposed to have this, nigga. I've been, I've been, I've been doing this for a very long time. You feel me? Like, I'm supposed to have this. Like, no, I'm not excited and I'm comparing. When you start doing that, that means that you're not used to having it. Be quiet. Silent. You feel me? When people start doing that, that means they're not used to having it. That means that they're new to it. Wealth is new to them. Um, having a family structure is new to them. You feel me? Like, I guess brushing their teeth in the morning is new to them. Taking a shower is new to them. Smelling good is new to them. So it's like they got to brag about these things to make themselves feel good. And I'm like, this is simple. This is natural. This is something that you're supposed to do. Like, if you don't do it, it's okay. But it's like you don't brag about it and compare yourself to others about it. And so when I start looking at other people, bragging about these things, I just have to, I, I, want, I want a history. I be like, they're not used to having it. Yeah, I be like, they're not used to having it, so of course they're excited about it right now, you feel me? Hold on, yo. Oh, man, I brought the white one out again. Fuck. All right, now it's all right. Okay. I'm doing the same too. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm talking about. These, so when you, they, they be trying to use their little. Now I mean, people be trying to use all these little, little things, and I'm like, yo, come on, man. You're not used to having these things already. You see, the way I grew up, I grew up in a family structure. Well, my grandma had a huge house. It probably was as big as the job that I'm working at right now. And I ain't even bullshitting. I'm used to having a lot of space to myself. You feel me? It was huge. And when I say it's as big as this place where I'm working at, it's, it's big. I work in a federal area, so it's like big. We had that, that was, her, that was her land. And she had a house in there, and yes. You feel me? So it was like, we already had the family structure down pack. I had my uncles, my uncle's kids, my aunts, my auntie's kids. Her ki there was so many people around me. It's like I had 20 mothers and 20 fathers. You feel me? Like I, there was a structure already there. So it's like me coming here and bragging about that. It's like I wasn't used to having. It. I'm like, nigga, I know what it takes. I already had that structure. I already know what it. I already know what it takes to be very confident because I had a lion behind my back. But can you be that same person when you don't have that behind your back? You see, that's where you're supposed to be at night. Can you be part of a group and still be an individual person where you can stand on your own? Because it's easy for you to be bold and do the things that you do when you have a crowd behind you that's supporting you. But can you do the same and say, still have the same confidence when you're by yourself? And that's very, very important for our people. This is how you build character. Can you stand on your own? You feel me? Because I already had a big family. Trust me, I did. I had, I had 20 fathers. I had 20 mothers. I had 30 sisters and 30 brothers and nurses. And, I mean, we all grew up in the same household. It was like, you know, it was like, imagine an apartment building that is nothing but your family. And a small houses around that a complex are your aunts and uncles who are also have their family in there. You feel me? There's something that Americans would call an estate. An estate. You feel me? When that structure is that big, you call that shit an estate. You feel me? That's what I grew up in. What's good, bowhead? <laughs> so I know what it takes to have that kind of structure already. I know what it takes to be that much confident, that much bold. I know what it takes in looking at somebody who came from less fortunate and thinking that I'm better than that person. I've been there before. I did all of that and I know it's not a good feeling. You feel me? But can you be that person? Can you? You can't. Because you're too busy bragging about things that you're not used to. I don't blame you for that. I'm just telling you that, yo, look, man. The, new, the next level is knowing how to stand on your own. Don't throw everything away. But stand on your own and still be able to provide. Can you do that? You can't do that. Can you go out there on your own? There was a lot of time Christ was rolling with 12 disciples. But a lot of times in the Bible, Christ stepped away from the disciples. And they said people were looking for him. 
even in the desert, Christ was by himself. Sometimes you just gotta step away from your pack, man. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you gotta step away from your pack. Christ, he was in the desert by himself when the devil tempted him. The devil will never tempt you when you are when you have a supporting group around you. He might use one of them people to get at you, but you need to fight the devil by yourself. You feel me? This is your greatest battle. Your greatest battle is to stand on your own and do it yourself. Even though you have supporting system behind you, step away from them. Do it on your own. You feel me? Anyway, man. Now, I'm not going back to work. I'm getting a ride home. Feel me? I hope you niggas hear the message. You feel me? Stop bragging about things that people are who are who don't have. Those people are less fortunate. Stop comparing yourself to people who are in a weak position for the moment. I can't compare myself and be like, yo, I got more than the homeless man. Nigga, that's weak as fuck. You feel me? For somebody who don't have his family structure, that's weak as fuck. Anyway, man. Stand on your own, man.